<laughs> um, look, I said I was going to answer. I said I asked Wendy questions. Only, only I can't. On account of, I have to um, do some radio commercials for my comedy uh, night at NJ Pack. Bye, John. Have a nice week. You too. Um, but maybe I can get to one. Here, come on. Come here. All right. Oh, there's only two. Okay. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? My boyfriend and I have been together for a few months, and we've been discussing finances lately. I've never been one for having a budget. However, he wants me to set a budget for myself and eventually show him receipts. <laughs> Excuse me? Receipts and bank statements. I feel that I deserve the same respect. Should I show? First of all, this boyfriend-girlfriend thing. Is he your baby's father or is he just your boyfriend? That's number one. Number two, nobody's eyeballing none of my receipts and nobody's seeing anything in my bank account. And just because... He wants to do that to you, and you do that to each other. That's unhealthy, isn't it? Crazy. That is crazy and unhealthy. So you must be very, very young. Vic Victor, Victor B., um, you must be very young. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Your old Aunt Wendy is telling you this is not a sustainable relationship. You've never have had a budget, so you probably are a little bit... Either you're wealthy and don't need a budget, or you're irresponsible with money. Um, and he is being the Gestapo where he wants to see receipts. Finances are the number one thing that ruin relationships. This relationship is as good as over. What do you say? Is he giving her money? Oh, Joni. No, to get receipts? Joy, uh, Joy C <laughs> says, Wendy, um, I have a fling from the past who is now interested in something long term. Do we have to go into the voice booth? No, we're going to your office. Okay, so you, you walk and I'll talk. All right. Um, bye, Johnny. Have a good weekend. All right. I have um, I have a fling from the past who is now interested in something long term. Bye, everybody. Bye. We both were dipping it and doing it. Oh, really? I tried to grab it. And he's small, too. He doesn't grab on to Oh, oh Tristan. No, he lost weight. You know, he had a little belly before the summer. He's working out and keeping it off nicely. We both were dipping it and doing it a year ago, so we never took each other seriously. Now he's reaching out to me because he wants something more. I've always been attracted to him. Have a good weekend. Thank you. But, wait, I've always been attracted to him, but he was a player. All right, well, hold on. I'm getting to the bottom of the... All right, this was very, very delicious. Do you want it? Yeah, I, so I'm going to eat when we get to the airport. Perfect. It was very good. I'm going to copy that recipe, though. You want it's just that there's nothing like airport food, in my opinion. It's still... Okay. We're going to L.A. The car's coming at 5 o'clock. 5? I thought we were on the... Oh, you're not on the same flight as us? Good. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on. Thank you. How can I take him seriously, given the past? I'm 29 and he's 31. I don't have time to waste, so what do I do? Thanks for your help, Wendy. All right, it starts out with you had a fling from the past who's not interested in something long-term. Well, I, I can tell you, um, 29 and 31 are about the times that you really realize that you want something more out of relationships than just to dip it and do it. And it's natural for you to dip it and do it all through your 20s up until about that point when all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I'd like to have a steady boyfriend or a steady girlfriend. I say you have a conversation with this guy and see where it goes. Talk to him. Talk to him now. He's expressed interest. He might be saying the same thing about you. How can he take you seriously? Because you were dipping it and doing it too. Um, doesn't mean that, that you'll be a bad girlfriend, just like it doesn't mean he'll be a bad boyfriend or husband. Dipping it and doing it is natural. As a matter of fact, I'd be scared of somebody who wasn't dipping it and doing it. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna end the after show now. Hey, Tristan, but you keep the camera rolling. Or what are you doing? We're gonna end. You gotta say goodbye. Oh, okay. Where's the script? Rhonda's got it. Oh, okay. Michael Kors and my leggings with little leather detailing.
it's not even real leather, it's leather. White House black market, black market, White House something or another. Um, and I was wearing Hunter Green Manola Monix. And then I changed my flats. Were, what kind of flats were those? Nine West. Nine West, very comfortable. Gold flats in the audience. I really love the hot talk panel. That's Shagoon. You know what I like about Shagoon? You know what I like about hot talk panel, period? We always make a very scrutinizing effort to invite people who aren't scared to stand in their own truth, whether we like it or not. How could you say that you love those girls in that video, Shagoon? I like people who say it like they mean it. And when they're passionate about something, they feel it. Be up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have to go. This is my son on the phone. I love you for watching the after show. Hi, honey.